you can visit us on our website or follow us on social media. We have the latest product updates on there. My name is Van from Oris, and we'll see you guys in the next. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Van from Ors, and today we're going to take a look at a brand new gaming motherboard from Ors. This is the Z390 Ors Master. Alright guys, in this video I want to give you a first look at the brand new Z390 Ors Master Motherboard, show you guys exactly what it looks like, and talk about some of its best features that might make this a great motherboard for your system. So, taking it out of the box, this is what the motherboard looks like. As you can see, we have a completely brand new redesign. It's a completely different theme, color scheme, a ton of great features on this board. Let's start from the front. Some of the features that jump out to me are the inclusion of a brand new beefed up cooling system. This has our thin array heatsink to keep everything running cool on this board. Speaking of cooling, we've also included three M.2 thermal guards on here. Brand new design, it looks much more sleek, much more modern. Going to the back of the board, this is another big change we've made for this generation. As you can see, there's an inclusion of a full black plate that covers the rear of this board. This adds extra rigidity, support, and durability for your motherboard to make sure that it lasts for a long time. Moving into I.O., you can see we've added a pre-installed I.O. panel. This is something that you're going to see on all the latest Oris motherboards. And in terms of the ports, you're going to have USB-A, USB-C, Ethernet, headphone, power clear CMOS button, pretty much anything that you'll ever need from your motherboard, it's gonna be back here. So those are some of the big features that stand out to me, but let's go more in depth. We're gonna head over to the Aura's Gaming Labs with our product manager, Matt. Thanks, Van. I'm here in the Aorus Gaming Lab to go over our new Z390 Master, kind of do a deep dive in some of the tech specs, um, some of the things that we're really excited to bring on this board. So you can see it's pretty much fully loaded from top to bottom. So I'm going to go into some more of the uh, detailed specs, um, kind of the geeky specs, the gamer specs, um, and some of the reasons why we're excited about this board. We hope you guys are excited about this board, and hopefully it gives you all the information you need to uh, make a wise decision with your purchase. On the back, Van kind of touched on it, but we have the clear CMOS and the power button, just kind of convenient. The Intel 2x2 Wi-Fi, so this is the... Um, newest Intel Wi-Fi, it's the one that goes up to 1.7 gigabits per second. Next we're going to talk about the USB. Now when you look at the back of the board you always see a bunch of USB ports, right? But what's unique about this board and this platform is that you have four USB 3.1 Gen 2, right? So you have an A and a C and those are all directly from the chipset. They're going to give you a little bit better performance. So if you're transferring files, you're definitely going to want to use one of these red ports. If you're just plugging in your mouse, your keyboard, uh, some kind of peripheral, you can use these top ones. Moving on to the audio portion of this board, like many of our high-end boards, this board features an ESS Sabre DAC. This specific board features a 9118 DAC. Um, and so if you're somebody who puts a lot of value into audio or spent a lot of money on his headset, um, that's something that's really important, right? That impedance, uh, the clear highs, the low lows, um, things of that nature, right? Like we went out all out with this board, including the audio section. Bottom of the board, we have two little switches that are highly useful, but often overlooked as well, right? And so one of these switches is gonna allow you to change what BIOS you're on. So this board actually has two BIOS chips built in, and one of them right here is actually socketed. So if something goes terribly wrong and both BIOSes are corrupted, you can actually pop out the BIOS chip from the socket put in a new one and not have to replace the whole board. And finally, I saved the best for last, which is our VRM and our VRM cooling solution up top here. So once you guys get this board in your hands, you'll feel it's a really weighty board. And it's not the IO shield, it's not the M.2, it's not even the cool back plate. Uh, it's all the copper that we put up here into the uh, thinned heatsink. And so not only did we upgrade the cooling solution, we upgraded the VRMs underneath. So this part right here that kind of looks like the standard cutout is more for aesthetics. 
It is fused to the finned part, but the finned part is really what's gonna be doing the cooling here. So underneath this heat sink is gonna be a direct touch heat pipe, a copper heat pipe, um, that goes from the top part of the VRM here to the side part of the VRM here. And it just spreads out the heat evenly, right? And so the more surface area, the more cooling. And so a direct touch heat pipe draws that heat away from the VRM section and dissipates it along all of these fins. The thermal pad we use here, it's pink, it's noticeable. Um, the reason we went with this is because it has a higher heat transfer, right? And so uh, we'd love to put maybe like a gray or a black thermal pad on here. We went with pink because it's the best performing, right? And so it's a little subtle, but it's kind of our um, nod to the fact that we went for not just aesthetics, but we went for performance on the thermal pad. So I hope that answers a lot of the questions you guys might have had about this board. If you have any additional questions, any spec questions, feel free to put them in the comments. And now back to Van. Thank you for the explanation, Matt. As you guys can probably see, this motherboard has a ton of great brand new features and we've wrapped it in a completely brand new redesign package. So everything look, looks sleek, everything looks modern, which is great for your gaming PC. If you guys want to find out more information about this board, as well as some of the other Oris gaming hardware, you can visit us on our website or follow us on social media. My name is Van from Oris, and we'll see you guys in the next video.